I'm going to be showing you guys how to navigate the LEO menu um, in the new F3 menu for the update they just released on CSRP. So, um, as far as that goes, all you want to do is hit F3, and you'll see these different options and things like that. So, in order to use your LEO menu, you'll have to clock in. So, you'll hit Enter on LEO menu, and you'll hit Yes to clock in. Um, one of the most basic things that you need to know how to do in the LEO, LEO menu is uh, cuffing. So, um, you'll hit these cuffing options, so you'll hit enter on that, and I'll explain the difference between soft cuffs and hard cuffs. So, soft cuffs, as I'll demonstrate, um, just cuffs them normally, so they can still walk around, things like that. So, he's walking around right now. Then, to uncuff them, you'll do unshackle, so you'll hit enter on this. Now, hard cuffs will cuff them to a location or to an object. So if I hit enter on that right now, what should happen is he shouldn't be able to walk. So as you can see right now, he can't move from that spot. So um, when you have them cuffed, there are other things you can do, like search, things like that. So if you go to player options, um, you can do a search. So I can see what's in his inventory. He's got an ID card, a phone, a handcuff, different things. I can seize his license through this menu. So if they don't have a driving license, then you can't seize it. You could issue fines through this. So if I'm right behind him, I can issue a $5,000 fine. So I'll just do $1. So he should have a $1 fine. You can place trackers, things like that. Um, not really sure what all you would do with that. You can perform a breathalyzer test. I don't know if that works right yet. Is it working for you? Uh, there's nothing on my screen. Okay, so these don't work just yet, but they will soon. As far as confiscating weapons, you can go into this confiscate weapons menu. And it'll show you all the weapons they have. So if you've got a suspect detained, you need to search him, and he's got deadly weapons on him, uh, you can obviously take away their weapons, so I just hit enter on that, took away his pump shotgun. Um, <coughs> you should also, hold on, one second, alright, so I'm just gonna uncuff him for now. Alright, so, I don't know if they have to be cuffed for you to jail them, so, yeah, obviously, You'll come to this LEO menu, player options, jailing options, you'll hit jail player, and then if there are multiple people around you, um, different names will pop up. So you'll have to make sure you're clicking the right name. You can go up to 20 minutes, I don't see why you would do that, but that is that option if you need it. I don't know if props show up for everybody, but we know, we now have uh, prop menu options, so you can spawn a barrier like this. Or um, a cone, or yeah, there's a gate. I guess you could spawn a gate. It's a sign. I don't know why it's under gate. Uh, you can spawn different cones. So we got this regular old traffic cone. It's in the ground. I don't know why it's still, still a little new. Um, we also now have shields. So you can come to the shield options and enable shield. Once you do that, you'll have to press a G to actually equip it. You can pull out a gun and shoot from behind the shield like this. And then to undo the shield and put it back on the back, you just hit G again. And voila, you've got your shield. Now as far as being able to use the shield, I know as for FBI right now, you have to have your advanced breach training within SWAT to use it. Um, as for other departments, that's respected to their department, I have no idea. So, um, that's up to them. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I should go over? Oh, yeah. yeah putting see. people into and uh, out of cars. Yeah, so that's actually what I just saw. Alright, so if you've got a suspect here... And you need to put them in your vehicle. Let me spawn on the floor. So it's uh, actually going to work right. 
Alright, so putting people in vehicles, I do believe they have to be cuffed. Yeah, so you'll have to have them cuffed. So soft cuffs, vehicle options. Then you can do force into vehicle and force out vehicle. Okay, it says you're not handcuffed anymore. So maybe you have to cuff them again. Yeah, so obviously right now it's a little bugged and they become uncuffed once they get in the car. Sometimes that will happen with this new update. But these are the most basic things that you can do with this new menu. Um, so if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to DM me or anything like that and we'll get it figured out. Awesome.